we begin with the family. Well, the first Australian to die from coronavirus has released a statement following his death, saying he passed away peacefully, knowing that his family loved him. 78-year-old retired travel agent James Kwan contracted the virus while on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan. He died in a West Australian hospital yesterday, 10 days after being diagnosed at a quarantine facility in Darwin. His wife, Teresa, is also infected. She remains in hospital in a stable condition. The number of confirmed cases in Australia has risen to 28. An escalation in the coronavirus outbreak on home soil, the first life lost in Australia. Um, I'm very sorry to advise that unfortunately the 78-year-old man who we've been managing in St Charles Gardner Hospital um, with the coronavirus um, died overnight. The WA man was a passenger aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ship and contracted the virus while it was docked near Tokyo. He was evacuated to Australia and started showing symptoms on the flight back. His diagnosis confirmed at the Northern Territory Medical Facility in Howard Springs nine days ago. Although initially showing only mild symptoms, he rapidly deteriorated. There was a final goodbye from his family overnight. They were able to um, talk to him last night um, and um, you know either by phone or, or through the glass on the uh, isolation unit. His wife remains isolated in hospital in a stable condition. Authorities confident there is no risk the virus will spread at Sir Charles Gardner Hospital. There's no risk to the general community or to staff. In Queensland, authorities are working to contact up to 40 customers from the Hair Plus Salon at Australia First in Southport. They came into contact with an infected woman who recently returned from Iran. When the message went out the other day about uh, contacts that the woman who returned recently from overseas had at that, uh, uh, had at that uh, beautician clinic, uh, the, the call went out and everybody listened and everyone paid attention and got checked. The World Health Organization has raised the global risk of a coronavirus outbreak from high to very high. A global pandemic has not yet been declared, but the Australian government has preemptively put its plans into place. Despite Australia's first death, authorities say it's too early to shut down mass gatherings, but the option remains on the table. There will be a point where that will be a consideration. It may be that um, there is an outbreak in a certain area with the city and, um, and we feel that we can continue to contain in that area and we would consider some social distancing measures. Fears that city outbreak is not a matter of if but when. Patrick Murrell, Sky News.